The key to staging a house like this is to make it appealing to someone who walks in, make it seem like they can move right in, they wouldn't have to do a thing to it, and that's what we're going to spend our time doing, is repainting things, bringing in furniture that appeals to the most people. And I love sweet dreams. The huh? color's beautiful. And you did such a good job on the trim. Makes it look like they can just move right in. Making it turnkey. That's really what people want in a house like this. It's completely different. Transform. Kristen Wall, design guru of wall-to-wall -wall home concepts. Mary Stryker, vintage flea market picker extraordinaire of junk to junk. Together they'll attempt to transform this house into a buyer's dream. All on a shoestring budget. Can they do it? This is Shack Attack. We're thinking about um, a nice, proportionate sofa. So nothing huge. Two end tables, lamps, a coffee table, maybe a little side chair or side chair, not sure where. We might have room for two, actually. So our concept for the project, Liz, is light, bright, and modern. Mm -hmm. I love these flower arrangements, just very simple, in very simple glass jars, vases. And minimal color. You know, I'm thinking that we pop the colors very, very sparingly and do a lot of white. We're painting the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The homeowner has decided that that's a good investment for him. So we got uh, Roberto at Trendy Walls to do it for us. Really? Yeah, he does such a beautiful job. The cabinets were are nice cabinets. It's really the only thing was the color. But what about like the hardware that was on the, uh, the yeah. cabinets? I think we're gonna spray paint that like a pretty brass or maybe. Oh, gold. that'd be nice. Yeah. You can kind of get a better sense of what the furniture looks like in the space. I would love it if these could be swivel chairs. We have to really be resourceful. And this is where really using our designer experience and all of our creativities are gonna really come into play. The way I'm going to execute that is use a lot of things from my own inventory, and I'm gonna beg, borrow, and steal the rest. We just have to find some stuff to fill up the house. My friend Eileen at Madison Furniture Barn has agreed to let us borrow some stuff. Wow. I'm really excited to see what she has. So we're here to look for furniture for the project. Yeah, we're ready for you. Are you? Sure, of course, whatever you need. Yeah, I think there's just a few basic pieces. I mean, we'd really like a sofa. Okay. And we'd we like those. a chest for the foyer area. Okay. And maybe a chair. Sure. And I think, I mean, it's a small house, so if you need any prints or... Yeah, actually, some artwork would be okay. wonderful. So I'm really kind of liking this sofa. It's got the aesthetic we're looking for, just clean lines, very simple. It's slip covered, I assume? It is, of course. Yeah. I really got a soft spot for this chest. Look at all this great storage it has. We really need to look for some rugs. These are the ones that we love now because you can go with stripes, the you can go with chia, 100% yeah. wool, very easy to clean, and I have to say, very reasonable. I'm thinking of something striped, but oh. not crazy striped. Look at this one. That is perfect. Because this will really go well with the wall color. The wall color is that really light aqua. Yeah. And then it also obviously has the colors of the, the couch. Yeah. So this can kind of pull it all together. I think so. And it's not going to overpower the room. Trim the bathroom. Gracing the bathroom today. I'm just going to finish rolling this door. It's a lot of time. These windows sometimes take four to five coats of paint. Just kind of moving right along. Oh, Mr. did you see that? Did you get that little bug trying to dye it into the paint? I found perfect art for the kitchen. You oh, want to really? come see it? Yeah, yes, let's go see it. Oh my God. The rock lobster. Oh my goodness. He's perfect. Isn't he? Because the kitchen's so white. Yeah. And then this will just really brighten up the whole space. Got it? Yeah. The work here is done, Liz. Okay. Let's get Louie the Lobster in the car. Whoever sees this property, you know, they could buy everything in it just as is. Which is a great idea, especially if, it, if someone buys it for a second home. They don't have to worry about getting all the furniture and all exactly. that kind of thing. And it, and it could be a second home for someone. A weekend house, which will be, uh, that would be a really nice option. They don't have to, you know, do anything. First impression is, the, is so important. 
and curb appeal. So they're going to be working on some of the landscaping outside. Okay, so here we have the giant boxwood foundations. Um, I'd keep this tall bush, just shape it up. You probably could take even a half foot off of it. Um, give it a nice shape. This one would come out, take the maple tree out. Take this shrub out here. This one's kind of a cute little one too. It can be a little cylindrical type. If you take a half foot off there and trim this up, you'd have two little anchored bushes on the ends. Extend the garden bed around so you see more soil. And whether or not you have um, mulch on it, it'll just be a giant improvement. A little daylight and a little privacy. Plus you can, you know, if the window's open, you can let the breeze through. In the bedrooms, we're going to use what's called an Odyssey shade. It's a honeycomb shade that becomes um, a blind, which is really good because it gives you the privacy you need. Window treatments always finish off a room. It's sometimes the last thing that people think about, but it really should be part of the whole plan. Um, when you're designing a room or when you're rebuilding a room or just repainting. I think this is a good one. All right. Well, that's great. You know I'm a quick decision maker. I love it. <laughs> Done. I'm very excited of where this is going to go. I know they have a talented group of individuals working on it, and I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. I think once we're done with this place, even Brady's going to want to move in.